So just um, kind of a, a little uh, overview of the agenda today. I'm um, going to talk a little bit about Nexans history. Uh, we have a long-standing history uh, of uh, you know, uh, wire and cable manufacturing. So just touch on that. Um, quick little overview of our, our um, global position. Then we will talk about uh, more specifically here in Canada, our, our current product portfolio, uh, some of the technical support and what we can offer you as a post-sale uh, service. Uh, and then I uh, wanna touch on two uh, sort of unique key services and solutions that are being uh, brought to market currently um, that are quite exciting for us. And then uh, lastly, just wanna to touch on uh, something called the NextSense Foundation. So without further ado, um, so, Electrify the Future is really a new chapter in Nexans living history. So, um, you know, Nexans is, is really proud uh, of its history. It's over 120 years of, uh, of history and uh, in the electrification market. Um, this new path of ours, Electrify the Future, uh, really amplifies the, the role that we play in, in electrification. Uh, it's in our DNA. Um, it's our purpose to build a better future for the world. Um, you know, we've committed ourselves Corp, uh, we've committed ourselves uh, to, to corporate social responsibility, and uh, through this plan, uh, we have a goal to be carbon neutral as an organization by the year 2030. So, um, long road ahead of us, but uh, taking all the uh, critical steps today to be able to uh, achieve that goal. So, next ends, uh, global player. Uh, just a bit of a background there. Uh, we operate on every major continent in the world. Uh, we have industrial operations, so uh, manufacturing facilities in 34 different countries. Uh, we're backed by uh, competence centers uh, for our product portfolios and, and a research center in Lyon, France, uh, where we're you know, developing new technologies, uh, new services, uh, new cables, uh, you know, really to meet the needs of our, our customers on a global basis. Um, we are about 26,000 people strong globally. Uh, which you can see on the slide there, uh, North America represents about 23% of, uh, of the business globally. Um, just kind of highlight some of the, uh, some, some, key, uh, some key figures here uh, on the research and innovation side. So uh, really looking in, in 2019, um, you know, we have uh, over 100 million euros invested in R&D uh, throughout 2019, which led to 59 new patents which uh, brings us to close to 1,800 patents registered in our, our current portfolio. Uh, uh, Nexans is among the top 20 companies uh, involved in R&D investment and technological innovation in the electronic and electrical sector in Europe. So we're very proud of that. Uh, just a, a quick overview here of um, some, uh, what we would consider global customers uh, and global partners that we deal with. Uh, we have uh, a number of large um, uh, end user OEM uh, type customers that uh, uh, we service throughout the globe in, in various market segments. So just kind of highlight some of them, you know, in the industry and solution side. So maybe on the transportation side, automation, um, that would be, uh, you know, companies like Alstom um, or Bombardier uh, on the transit side. Um, you know, you've got uh, Hyundai there for, for heavy industrial. So Again, just uh, just a kind of a quick overview to show you, you know, uh, what some of our uh, what some of our other large global customers um, uh, that we're partnered with. Uh, when it comes to Nexans, I mean, really, we are you're going to find our products really in in everyday life. Um, this slide here is kind of interesting to me. Always has been just to see how much wire and cable products are in uh, some of these, you know, uh, applications that we would see daily. You know, something like a vehicle today that over 5,000 or, you know, over five kilometers or 5,000 meters of cable in a vehicle, which um, is going to increase again, um, specific, specifically the amount of copper that's going into some of these electric vehicles. Um, you know, cruise ship, 5,000 kilometers of cable uh, that you'll find in there. So really, you know, wire and cable is something that, that we see every day in, in many, many different spaces. Um, I want to highlight kind of a recent success story um, and uh, definitely a, a key win for us uh, going forward here in North America. Um, uh, Nexans, Eversource and Orsted have uh, signed a framework agreement here in North America uh, to develop um, and provide uh, offshore uh, wind cables for um, uh, renewables, uh, renewables applications in the US. So, um, you know, the opportunity is to provide up to a thousand kilometers of, of cable for multiple projects until uh, the year of 2027. 
um, you know, this really will help accelerate the uh, energy transition in, in North America to bring more uh, clean energy uh, to the U.S. And I'm sure if, uh, you're following what uh, what is happening in the U.S. on that front right now. You can see that Biden is uh, definitely uh, investing in in that uh, in the future of the U.S. in this space. So very timely uh, timely uh, win for us, and uh, looking forward to, uh, to growing this market in the U.S. Cool. So that's just kind of a, a brief overview on uh, sort of, you know, where we are globally today. Um, but right now I kind of I want to share a video with you, which really kind of focuses more on our Canadian operations and, and where we are today. So uh, without further ado, I'll sit back and enjoy. It's about two minutes. We're in the grid that powers our nation. We're in the trains, planes and automobiles that keeps us all moving. And we're in homes and businesses all across Canada. For over 100 years, Nexans Canada, a vertically integrated manufacturer of residential, commercial, industrial, and utility-grade wire, has been supporting electricians, utility workers, and electrical professionals. We control the entire manufacturing process from end to end, starting at our copper casting facilities in Montreal. Flat stock raw copper is fed into a casting oven, operating at over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Molten copper is then extruded into various gauges of copper rod and wire. After passing multiple levels of testing and quality control, the rod is ready to be packaged and shipped to our manufacturing facilities. Once received at our Fergus plant, copper spools begin the drawing process where they are sized and prepared for insulation. Depending on the requirements, copper wire is then insulated for specific market uses, such as residential wire, or for commercial and industrial applications. The assembly process adds shielding and jacketing and combines specialized wire types into finished products for different markets. Ongoing quality controls ensure that all finished products adhere to the highest certification standards. Finally, the Nexand wire products are packaged, ready for delivery. For more information, contact us at nexans.ca. Awesome. Yeah, well, that was a video that was put together earlier this year, and uh, you know, I think uh, pretty effective in showing really kind of how Nexans is is really 100% vert vertically integrated on the copper side when it comes to our operations here in Canada. Um, you know, we're pretty proud of the fact that we have the rod mill in in, in Montreal, and that. Uh, you know, we're, we're always feeling very safe when it comes to uh, our supply chain uh, on copper. Um, so I know uh, uh, maybe a few of you on the webinar today, um, you know, I've, I've mentioned that facility to you, but uh, this video was a great opportunity for us to kind of give you a little insight into, uh, into really what, uh, what we do there. Um, so, you know, talking a little bit more about, uh, you know, our local history here in Canada. I mean, it, it's a long standing history of, of manufacturing wire and cable. It started, in 1911 with, uh, as Canada Wire in, in Toronto. Um, you know, at one point we had, uh, I believe, uh, upwards of 12 plants uh, in the province of Ontario alone. Um, currently today, we have the three facilities that you saw in the video, uh, the Copper Rod uh, Mill located in Montreal, uh, which has been in operation since 1931. The uh, Building Wire Cable Plant, which is located in Fergus, Ontario, that's been in operation since 1965. And then our utility wire and cable plant in Weyburn, Saskatchewan, which has been in operation since 1971. I mean, between these three facilities, it produces uh, over 750 products in the, the four uh, core market segments that we focus on for our business here in Canada. Um, you know, that's ranging in, in uh, applications from 120 volts all the way up to uh, 15,000 volts. Uh, we do have the ability to produce up to 500,000 volts, but that would be done at a uh, high voltage plant that we have in the U.S. So there again, just a, a 
kind of an overview of what our core product portfolio looks like here based on those market segments. Um, we're going to go through it in a little detail, but this is sort of just a, a, a quick overview um, of really what they are. So again, uh, residential, commercial, industrial, utility is really where, uh, where we focus as a business here in Canada. So uh, energy transmission, uh, so from generation, right, right down to, uh, you know, the, the consumption of that energy in a, a residential application so we want to uh, and have products that can bring that energy from from the the point of generation right through to the light house so quickly here just uh, on the residential side uh highlighting some of the key products that we make for uh, a residential build so probably the, the primary one you'll see in the middle there is canada x and nd90 um next hands is one of three manufacturers in the canadian market that makes that product uh, it's a very high volume product for us. We make uh, quite a bit of it in the Fergus plant. Um, so it's a core, core product to our business. Um, uh, you've also got uh, NMWU, which is uh, the direct berry version. Um, we do see a little bit of T90 in, in residential spaces. The other uh, pro product that's on your screen here is AC90. Uh, AC90 um, has always sort of been considered a commercial product, but uh, I think more and more where we see uh, this product being used is uh, in uh, different residential applications. So maybe not a single dwelling home, but a, uh, um, but a, um, a multi-dwelling uh, building. So a condo or a low rise or something like that. We do see, uh, we do see quite a bit of, uh, of AC90 going into those, uh, those applications. On the commercial side, um, again, you know, a uh, pretty standard offering in the commercial space. You could probably pull over AC90 into this slide as well. Uh, we offer uh, ACW90, so aluminum conductor armored power cables for feeders. Um, we offer uh, T90, RW90, RWU, again, single conductor, single core building wire uh, that would be used in a, a conduit or raceway installation with side of building. Um, there's a product on here, though, that is uh, we do see in commercial and in some industrial application, which is Corflex RA90. So this is a product that is uh, specific to Nextans in the Canadian marketplace. There are no other manufacturers that are, are selling that product. So uh, definitely a unique offering for us, and uh, something that I, I think is uh, you know going to um, going to be looked at again as uh, as have a product that has more value in it. We're currently working on some data in the background to show that uh, on the total cost of an installation um, of a fourth flex product versus say a single conductor Tech 90 or single conductor ACWU that by utilizing CoreFlex, the total cost of the installation would actually be less based on the fact that you do not need to support CoreFlex uh, as frequently as you do some of the other constructions. Um, often you'll see tech uh, installed in cable tray. Uh, CoreFlex does not need to be done that. So there'll be more information available uh, in the coming time on, uh, on CoreFlex. Moving into industrial, um, you know, it's uh, uh, one of our, absolutely one of our core product sets um, that uh, we have been making for many, many years, known for our quality and our tech. So that's our FireX Tech 90 on the low voltage side, so 600 volt and 1 kV. Uh, we have the ability to manufacture tech up to 15,000 volts at a 133% insulation thickness. Uh, currently, that's where we cap out right now. Uh, hopefully in the future, that, that will grow. Um, there again, great offering. Um, Two other products on here in the industrial. Uh, I want to mention our Instaglide, our PVU90. So this is actually, uh, it's not a new product, obviously, to the market, but it is definitely something that's new for next hands. We have now, uh, we are now producing in uh, both black and red, and we can make the red in sunlight resistant. So uh, if you do have any uh, photovoltaic applications, uh, we are able to support those now on the RPVU side. And then finally there, uh, the very first cable you see is our drive RX, our VFD, which uh, is definitely, uh, in my opinion, one of the products that brings definitely the most value to, uh, to, the, to the field today in, in terms of what it does uh, to counteract some of the, um, some of the electrical concerns that, are, are, that arise in a, a VFD application. Uh, so that's a product that we've definitely seen um, demand grow for over the last number of years, you know, as, um, as large industrials are looking to become more energy efficient efficient uh, variable frequency drives uh, will address uh, some of the energy consumption concerns that they would have so uh, I truly feel that that's going to be a product that we continue to see grow in the Canadian marketplace and then lastly uh, when it comes to our products our utility products so it's a fantastic well-rounded offering for Nexans um, you know we are uh, producing the uh, over bare overhead uh, conductors so the ASCs and the ACSRs uh, we do a covered line wire. 
uh, and that's on the you know the higher voltage side. Uh, so on the uh, secondary or lower voltage side, we are producing NS75 and NS90 for overhead. Uh, we're also producing USCI75, USCI90 for underground. We do produce USCB90 for uh, Western Canada. Um, it's kind of a neat product. Uh, and then, of course, our, our full offering, Energex medium voltage cables. So, uh, you know, based on our, our current certifications, we have uh, the ability to manufacture these constructions in many, many different configurations from the uh, conductor type, copper or aluminum, to even how it's stranded, compact compressed, uh, concentric neutral wires, insulation thicknesses, jacket types. I mean, really, um, there isn't much that we uh, we can't manufacture with our, our, our current certifications and, and facility in, in Weyburn. Um, so great, uh, like I said, great, real well-rounded offering that we have on uh, utility products. So just a very brief overview on, uh, on really our core offering here in Canada. Um, but, you know, outside and, and over and above our, our product offering, um, you know, we do stand by our, our products and, and do offer um, uh, engineering support uh, for post-sales service. Um, you know, we, have, we do have a, a team uh, here in, um, uh, in Canada. Uh, it's got over 150 man years of experience right now, so great to have that type of, uh, type of experience in our business. Um, you know, they're here to, uh, to kind of help solve some of the challenges of, of installing and operating complex cable networks, um, you know, by offering technical support on the products, uh, physical cable property calculations, so there's impedance and dimensions, um, uh, ampacity and temperature calculations, uh, overhead line calculations. I mean, really, there's a, a number of, of services that we uh, can support on after, after the product uh, has been sold. So uh, keep that in mind as, uh, you know, if you do and, and your customers are looking for additional technical support, it is something you can come to NextSense for. That's on the engineering side. Um, on the, so really now I'd like to kind of just touch on uh, a couple of the unique services and solutions that uh, NextSense has brought to the Canadian marketplace or is in the process of um, you know, we have developed this this corporate strategy towards social responsibility, and uh, even though it's in its infancy, um, you know, I think both of these uh, both of these initiatives really fit within that that realm uh, in terms of, uh, of CSR. So, uh, first one to talk about is uh, scrap cable. So, um, you know, we really have kind of find ma five main purposes as to why we believe that your your cable scrap has never been more valuable. You know, uh, so by choosing NextSense Recycling Services, you're really helping us support the four pillars of our, our CSR strategy, which is people, planet, product, and partners. Um, okay, we, we will take back all of the scrapped cables and provide quicker, uh, to provide quicker reel returns. Uh, and we can recirculate those reels uh, back into the production flow. Um, you know, uh, you're gonna recover, your, we're gonna recover your scrap faster and get that, um, get that material back, or sorry, the credits back to you uh, much faster than maybe going through your, your, own, um, your own scrap recovery method. Not only that, uh, you know, by providing us with your scrap, uh, the scrap copper itself uh, does end up uh, back into the, uh, does go back to, to the Montreal rod mill and does end up back in the, the furnace and becomes new cable. So you're uh, essentially what is waste actually is being reused to make new products for you, which is, uh, which is kind of a, it's a good story to tell. So that's kind of, that's kind of, you know, why, um, but how? So really, um, you know, it begins with the collection of the scrap. So we have, uh, we will be working with third parties right across uh, Canada to uh, assist in the, uh, to assist in, in this uh, particular program. So uh, our scrap dealers will collect the scrap and reels uh, at a standard location. So whether you ship us uh, to a standard location or uh, agree on that, that the scrap is um, going to be arranged in a specific location, that, that's really where it starts. So we, we collect that. Um, the scrap process recovery would begin, would begin. So all of the scrap is broken down into its individual components. So we split up the metals with the compounds. Uh, and then the, uh, the raw materials are actually uh, sent back specifically the metals are sent back to the Montreal rod mill. Uh, and uh, there again, the reels are returned to um, uh, either depending on where you're located could be in Western Canada or in, in Ontario to our real depot. Uh, and then lastly, uh, you get paid. So we return uh, the, the value of the scrap to you in the form of a credit, very similar to the way that we would issue a real credit. 
Uh, but what I want to point out here is that this is a 100% not-for-profit initiative by Nexan. So we do not uh, make any money from the recycling of this. Um, we, uh, we look at it as a, a true value add and is not uh, generating revenue at this point. So again, kind of a cool concept that uh, I know scrap can be, um, can be cumbersome to deal with. And if you don't have the ability to break it down yourself and, and uh, separate the components, um, it doesn't always end up um, favorable when you get your uh, credits back from the scrap dealers. So this is going to help you uh, in terms of recovering, uh, you know, the right, the right product and the right scrap out of your, out of your cables. Okay, moving on to, uh, to the next one here. So uh, connected reels tracking system. So we, uh, we, we sort of we decided to, to really transform cable reels into something intelligent uh, that will, will help um, not only your customers in the field, but I think, uh, I think really at the distribution level will help you as well keep, uh, keep better tabs on, on these assets. Um, you know, 96 search reel can be quite expensive um, if you do end up having to, to pay for it. Um, so uh, it's taken us about four years globally to develop uh, this platform, but uh, we, we believe that we've come up with a, a, an incredible solution that uh, will, will have great benefits for you and, uh, and in the Canadian marketplace. So um, you know, really what this looks like sort of just as an overview, and then we'll go into how it works is, you know, really it, it's all based on the Internet of Things, so IoT. Um, so uh, the, the Internet is going to help tell us where reels are. Uh, track the fleet of the product. Um, the, the, the technology has the uh, ability to uh, calculate actually how much uh, cable is on a particular reel, so residual length um, uh, tracking. This is especially effective for uh, customers who choose to cut their product in the field. A lot of utilities choose to do this, so um, they would have the ability to manage that uh, in real time in the field. Um, it also, uh, obviously, from a, a theft uh, prevention standpoint, this is really, really um, you know, one of the keys uh, that uh, that we see with the solution is that, you know, if something was to happen and that reel is going to be moved, it will send alerts to the system. So uh, you would know if, uh, if your assets are being moved uh, when they shouldn't be. Um, currently, globally, we have over 15,000 connected reels uh, that are installed worldwide. Uh, right now, we have a little over 100 uh, that are in use right now, but that number is uh, is continuing to grow. So really, how, how does this work? Okay, so the solution really relies on three pillars. Um, so the first is, is embedding the, uh, the IoT sensor uh, directly into the reel. So this is done at the, uh, this is done at the uh, plant level. Um, these devices sort of integrate uh, a GPS antenna, so no different than uh, your cell phone or your car. It will, allow it, to, uh, the, it will allow the cellular network to pinpoint it from a geolocation standpoint. Um, and uh, it's also got a, a 3D accelerometer to determine the real behavior and adapt the GPS frequency. Um, these devices themselves uh, come with a three-year battery life and uh, are rated for extreme temperatures. This was obviously a concern we had adopting a, a European system here into Canada based on climate, but uh, we've got no issues uh, that we've identified there. Um, again, so this all flows through the uh, uh, through uh, uh, the GSM network or global system for mobile. Um, so this is all run off the, the mobile networks that are available in, in Canada today. Um, so that's the first piece. The second piece is, is really the, the solution is, is really a cloud native solution. So we use the GSM networks, um, uh, so 2G, 4 up to 5G actually, to send this data to our platform. Uh, we then use these networks to send uh, similar alarms in case the reels are being moved at night. Um, in Canada, we have partnered with Rogers for our connectivity, and we have done uh, extensive testing on their platform. No issues there. And then the third piece of this solution is really um, uh, the platform itself. So uh, we then display uh, the location and lengths, but also other information such as site contacts or project references uh, on the platform. It's accessible 24-7 uh, on the web. There will be a mobile uh, app that is coming. Uh, currently today, it is only available for Android devices, but iOS is under development. Um, so as soon as that uh, obviously is available, we'll be pushing that out. Um, but this is all, uh, all like I said, all available through the platform that we've developed. Um, if anybody uh, on this uh, session would like to have uh, further information about this solution, uh, there is a uh, an additional presentation that could be done uh, going forward that we can do uh, some live demos as to how this um, how the platform looks. 
Um, so we're uh, we're pretty excited about both of these. Um, you know, they're not uh, new cable solutions, but uh, definitely I think uh, is, are things that are going to bring some value uh, to you and and to your customers as well. I know I mentioned this before, but just kind of wanted to highlight sort of one last time here is, is uh, really our our new strategy in, in corporate social responsibility. So. Uh, we uh, in, in, in late 2020 and going into 2021, we, uh, we introduced sort of a fundamental change in, in managing our, our and refocusing our management and, and no longer just, re, you know, rewarding uh, ourselves on the ability to generate profit each quarter. But, um, you know, we're all going to be assessed now on, on three key pillars of our business. And uh, it's nice to see that uh, planet and profit are now, or sorry, planet and people are now, uh, uh, you know, part of that, that uh, strategy going forward. Okay, Nexans Foundation. So um, in 2013, uh, Nexans uh, uh, created the uh, Nexans Foundation. In fact, we were the first cable manufacturer to uh, to uh, really uh, bring this type of uh, foundation uh, to light. Um, and since then, since 2013, we have improved the living conditions of over 1.8 million people. Uh, and that's come through over 120 projects that we've done globally in 38 countries. Um, you know, something that we're very proud of and are, are very much looking forward to um, bringing the Next Sense Foundation here to Canada and, uh, and uh, looking at what we can do here to, uh, to help. So in terms of, uh, you know, more uh, education, uh, in terms of industry education, you know, if you, uh, if you found this webinar uh, useful and found some of the information to be uh, beneficial, uh, we have a number of webinars that have been um, have been created. They started about 18 months ago, and we've been rolling them out on a maybe quarterly basis. Uh, this is just a sample of uh, of what we've got available today. Uh, some of them are project driven. Some of them are solutions and services driven. Them. Some of them are uh, electrical code driven. Some of them are more general. So, um, you know, we uh, you all have access to these this web these webinars today. Um, so, if anybody would like uh, further information, how to access. Um, that can be provided to you, no problem. And we will continue to be uh, looking at um, new uh, uh, webinar content to push forth in, in 2021. So again, if anybody happens to have any suggestions uh, as to what they would like to see coming out of Next Hands in terms of a webinar, we're, we're definitely open for, uh, for recommendations and suggestions at this point. So just coming to a close here, I uh, just kind of wanted to highlight, um, you know, part of our, our new strategic plan and our new approach, which is electrify the future. You know, we've, we've looked at really what, what our core values are as a, an organization. And uh, these are really the three pillars 